In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform the supine head roll test, also called Panini Lemper test or Panini McClure roll test, to diagnose benign paroxysmal positional vertigo from the lateral semicircular canals. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi, and welcome back to Physio Tutors. Benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, abbreviated as BPPV, is the most common in ear problem and cause of vertigo or false sense of spinning. Common causes are head trauma or ear infections, although most cases appear to be idiopathic. BPPV can be caused by debris in the semicircular canal of the ear, which continues to move after the head has stopped moving. This causes ongoing movement that conflicts with other sensory information. The semicircular canals are filled with a fluid called endolymph. The main sense organ in each canal is called the crista, which is stimulated by movement of the cupola. Head movement causes relative movement of the endolymph in the semicircular canal, which bends the cupola and the embedded hairs of the hair cells and causes stimulation of the relevant vestibular nerve. The cause of BPPV is believed to be canalithiasis, affecting the posterior semicircular canal in 85-95% to of all cases. In canalithiasis, free-floating debris in the semicircular canal is hypothesized to act like a plunger, causing continuing movement of the endolymph even after head movement has ceased. This causes movement of the cupola and bending of the hairs of the hair cells and provokes vertigo. Around 20% of PPPV cases are said to resolve within 4 weeks and up to 50% up to 3 months without treatment, but recurrence is reported between 10 to 18% after 1 year. BPPV from the lateral semicircular canals tends to resolve more quickly than posterior BPPV. If a patient has history compatible with BPPV and the dix hall pike test exhibits horizontal or no nystagmus, the clinician should perform a supine head roll test to assess for lateral, also called horizontal semicircular canal BPPV. Before you conduct the test, the patient should be counseled that the symptoms of vertigo will be reproduced and that he might feel nauseous, so make sure you have a bucket at hand in case your patient might need it. To perform the supine head roll test, have your patient lie supine on the treatment bench and bring his head into 30 degrees of flexion to align the lateral semicircular canals in the horizontal plane. Then quickly rotate 90 degrees to one side and observe your patient's eyes for anastagmus, which usually has a latency of 5 to 20 seconds and fatigues within 60 seconds after onset. After the nystagmus subsides, or if no nystagmus was elicited, the head is then returned to the straight face-up supine position. After additional elicited nystagmus has subsided, the head is then quickly turned 90 degrees to the opposite side and the eyes are once again observed for nystagmus. In a positive test, the patient will experience vertigo. In case of lateral semicircular canal BPPV, the nystagmus will be predominantly horizontal. Two potential nystagmus findings might occur. Geotropic type of nystagmus is marked by a very intense horizontal nystagmus beating towards the earth on the affected side and usually less intense beating to the earth on the healthy side. It seems probable that in this form of nystagmus the calcium carbonate debris is located in the long arm of the semicircular canal. Or apogeotropic type, which is less common, with a horizontal nystagmus beating towards the uppermost ear on both sides. In this case, it is reasoned that the calcium carbonate debris is located adherent or close to the ampulla of the semicircular canal. In this case, the side opposite the strongest nystagmus is the affected ear. All right, this was our video on the supine head roll test for lateral semicircular canal BPPV. If you want to learn how to treat this condition, watch the video on the barbecue roll maneuver right next to me. I want to thank you very much for watching. Please give this video a like. If it was helpful to you, subscribe to our channel if you haven't or drop a comment down below. 
and turn on the notifications in order not to miss any new videos. This was Kai for PhysioTutors, I'll see you in the next video, bye.